Hello, it is the 23rd of June, 2011, and in this video I want to go over one of my favorite indicators, which can be used for any chart and any time frame. And that is to calculate the direction the current price is from the highest and lowest point over a significant period of time. And in this case, for silver, it is the 52-week high and low. And currently, the 52-week low is still under $18. And because the silver price is over 35 or around 35 it is over 100% right now. For the direction from the lowest or the highest point, excuse me, it's you take the current price, which again is around 35 and the difference from 35 to 49 or about 50 even is about 15 or so. So 15 into 35 is that of around 40%. And the reason why I do it that way, instead of 15 from 50, is so that the high and low periods can match up equally. 100% up is the same as 50% down. So if the market retraces 50%, it goes to 100%. All right, we got that, and what I like about this is it shows control of the market, uh, indecision, or that sort of stuff, as well as even a few buying opportunities or signals. We will show a few key points, as in, when you look at this, you can see that when the market from its highest point gets receded, when the red line goes higher, that means the market sells off. The first time it had a significant one, a huge move, instant move in 2004. This is pretty much the same as what we got now so far. What happened after this point was that it slowed down this way. And then the green line also didn't do much, showing indecision for the most part. Now the second time it got there, it got there in 2006. This time, however, the buyers were in control of the market because even though it went higher, the green level was up, so the buyers were still in control. This was nothing more than a retracement. Then the next time it went higher, it, well, it went way higher, and it took over control for a brief period. And now again, we've got it back up to 40%. So there's been four times now since the 2002 where the market has had a retracement on the downside to this level. Three times it's, well, twice it stopped at 40%, once it went up to 120, and now this is the third time at 40%, or potentially stopping at 40%, or making a new level, 60%, or anything. It's tough to state. And we see this, and we realize the green, blue line, or right now the green line is above the red line, but significantly above it. For when the green lines had its moves, it got up to, instead of 40%, it made a move up to 85, and then up to about 120, and then again up to about 90, then again up to about 110. So roughly, we, it's a range of something like that. And what's happened is it broke above to 180% and back to where it may potentially find support where there was resistance, which could even be down into here as well. Because that's where it was resistance in 2004 and so on. And what I like about these type of movements is it really helps or shows moves of time frame over time frame because price doesn't get in the way. And that is because when you were making moves up to, say, 80%, you were going up 80% on $4, which meant you were going to about $7. And then from this point in here, you were having lows of maybe $6, bringing it up to $14, in that, or something in that level in there. From this low, we had a low of $8.40, and we brought that up to 17 and then from here, when 2010, middle of 2010, that would have sent us to the middle of 2009, so that would have been lows of about 12 or $14 maybe, and up towards in here. So now back in here, we're talking about having lows 
of $17, but going higher. Because that's what the 52-week low right now is 17, because that happened in the summer of last year. That's a summer. In September, it will be over 20. In October, it will be 23. November, we're now going to be in the 25, 26 range. December, 28. January, and then, then whatever, 30 for the rest of the way, or whatever the low happens to be. And because that's the case, it really changes the bar. And it, to me, it shows uh, well how moves are compared to other ones. Again, who's in control of the market? Within this chart, we can see that the buyers are in control. I'll quickly take a look at the other one. There might be a bunch of drawing on there because I did the video first, and it wasn't so, it's such a good one. So we'll now go to the chart. Yep, there's a little bit of drawing on here. This is the current one that we're seeing today. This is shorter term. You can do this for any chart, any time frame. And if you are interested in wanting to know how to do this on a spreadsheet, uh, let me know. Actually, I'll put it in the more information box. It's pretty easy. All right, so within the current situation here, you're looking for buy signals. It's pretty easy that uh, to emphasize that you're building a resistance level amongst here. And of course, the orange line's got to be above the blue line. I'm going to change this to the red and blue probably very soon. And the last few times, you had this indecision period. From indecision, you had a good move. Then you matched well at this level. And showing indecision, who's going to take the fight? It's like a boxing match, chess match, something like that. And the buyers take over control. And now, boom, a big move. On the shorter term time frame, we have the sellers in control, while in the long term time frame, the buyers are in control. So what this means is when this level either continues to have in control by maybe coming down here to 25%, this goes up to 25%, then this goes back down, this goes back higher. This means that it's getting to the point on the longer term time frame where we can start to see what that these levels would start to meet. And this would be the defining moment because most likely they would meet up around 70% right now. If they meet through time, it could be lower than that, but that's situations like in here. These ones met through time. Okay, then I'm going to end this video. If you have any questions within this, please let me know. Again, if you are looking to use this type of formula. It's fairly easy to do. I'll put that in the more information box. Take care.